ITR boxing. You heard it here first. Pretty cool videos. And I heard they're also in HD. ITR boxing. Okay, and um, how did you get into being a boxing trainer? Well, I competed as an amateur, but I, I got in late into the sport. But I've always been following it. I've always been uh, learning, you know. And, and as a, as a fighter, I went over over to England, and I, I got a chance to to see how they do it over there. Uh, the scene was much more developed. You know, I got to got to uh, be a part of some some regional trainings and national national champions and all this stuff. So uh, it was a great experience. Um, I had a, had some fights here in, in Muay Thai and then switched over to boxing and um, and just just went from there. Now I just want to help guys because I know the sport needs coaches more more than it needs fighters. There's lots of fighters out there. They just need guidance and someone to, to bring them along. So I hope to be that face. What's the most rewarding thing being a coach? The most rewarding thing is just just knowing that you're helping somebody achieve their dream, and uh, just just the everyday, you know, um, camaraderie in the gym. It's um, when I wake up in the morning, the first place I want to go is to the gym, and I get in touch with my fighters, and I know I know when they're motivated to train, and and they respect me and respect my opinion and respect my intellect in the sport then that's very motivating and and uh you know i've had a chance to work with the likes of uh a world-class guy like sam vargas and and these guys that i was just talking about okay and is there any fight coming up that you're real you got your eye on it or you're interested in how it goes or you got a prediction for it in in general or uh yeah just in general yeah, you know in shoot. general um well i want to see I want to see what happens next with, with Errol Spence, and um, I, I know he's got nothing nothing planned. But we got Terence Crawford and Amir Khan coming up. Um, Pacquiao and Keith Thurman. Pacquiao, Keith Thurman. Did they announced that, that. They didn't announce that. I think that's it's pretty much oh, it's, done. It's pretty much yeah. a done deal. Yeah. Uh, that's a scary fight for Pacquiao. I'm a huge Pacquiao fan. I've been following his career ever since he came to North America. So. Uh, I don't really like to see him fighting these young, hungry guys, you know, like um, Keith Thurman is, is in his prime and, and Pacquiao is kind of maybe on the decline, even though he's still looking good, but I'd hate to see him um, taking a lot of damage from these young guys, so, um, you know what, I, I hope Manny keeps adding to his legacy and uh, hopefully he doesn't get hurt too bad. Okay, how do you see that Crawford Con fight going? I see Craw I see Crawford winning, uh, but I don't see it as a overly easy fight. I think I think it'll take him a little while to adjust to uh, Khan's style. It's very quick, very explosive. Um, I know he's 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 on his last you know the the last part of his career, and he wants to make um, add on to his legacy. So he's very motivated, um, but I think Crawford's gonna be too much for him. Um, Switches stances. He's, he's very, very um, aggressive. He's a real fighter. And Khan, you know, they say he's got a weak chin, but I don't really see him as a guy with a weak chin. He's, he's only lost. Um, he's only been knocked down by you know bigger guys than him. R really world, world class. And he always gets up and he tries to fight. Um, I was actually on one of his fights out in Sheffield, and he got knocked down by uh, Joel Diaz. And he was he was on spaghetti legs, but but he kept fighting. And he's got a real heart, so um, you know I don't see it being an overly easy fight for Crawford. But I, I think he will stop him probably in round seven, eight, maybe maybe in the later rounds. No, I agree with you. That's something I've always said to people too: is that um, Khan can Khan maybe he doesn't have the best punch resistance, but he doesn't have a bad chin because he never goes down and stays down. The only guy that kept him down was Canelo. Exactly, yeah, and Canelo was, what, two weight classes heavier than him? Probably like a cruiserweight, the fight night, exactly. like light heavyweight, cruiserweight, probably like... Exactly, and, and he was doing good in that fight until he got tagged with that right hand, so, you know, you can't really take anything away from him. Okay, one last question, best boxer in the world is? Right now, uh, it's, I'd say it's a toss-up between... Crawford or Spence. That's why that fight's so exciting right now. How would you see that? 50-50 or what? It's a 50-50 fight for sure. Uh, I don't know. I can't even make the prediction, but 
maybe I have a favorite favorite Spence a little bit just because he, he goes to the body so much. And uh, and giving us some coverage. It's kinda few and far in between that we get uh, people coming in covering boxing in Toronto. Now it's starting to pick up with Lee Baxter picking it up here in, in Toronto and putting on more fights, but um, in the States, you guys are blessed with having so much media coverage, but in, in Canada, we're, we're looking for that and we're looking to grow this um, grow this sport here and, and bring, bring big fights. So thank you very much uh, for joining us here.